What was my, oh, okay. Is that somebody, is that somebody ringing my fucking doorbell in the middle of my story time? In the middle of my story time, I'm hard depth in depth in the motherfucking details in the trenches, bitch. I'm all the way dived in and you want to ring the doorbell? <gasps> All right, hey friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. I was low-key just finna go to fuck to sleep. I ain't even gonna lie. I was finna go my ass to sleep, and then my brother ass ended up fucking calling me because um, my sister-in-law, she um, got induced today, and so she finna have uh, my niece and shit. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be doing a story time. And the story time that I'm going to be doing today is uh, why I got kicked out of school four times. No, I got kicked out of school three times. So, yeah, I'm going to do a story time why I got kicked out of school three times. Some of y'all probably already know because I did the story time on TikTok before. But, see, what happened was is I got a little bit more following. And I did a video. And I did. I uh, had did a video the other day, and a lot of people was asking me why I got expelled, and I'm like, I already did a story time, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just do it again. But huh, before we do this motherfucking story time, I need to go to JJ's and get my motherfucking chicken. Oh, well, that kind of tangy. So yeah, we finna do that. And y'all, y'all know my motherfucking brother, the one who ruined my waist fucking stank. Why, why the fuck he go to jail yesterday, y'all? Mm, 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 mm. All right. Anyways, though, yeah, let me go put this in the freezer because this is getting a little tangy. Room tour. It ain't shit. House tour. It ain't shit. It's small as hell. Y'all see my motherfucking house all the time. Please. These are my birds. Well, my mama birds, actually. Actually. Bitch. It's hotter than two fat bitches fighting over a motherfucking hot dog sandwich out here. Please. It's hot as hell. Anyways. Let's get it done. Mm-mm, bitch, I have bugs. Mm-mm. I have bees. You know, we don't play with them. Let me turn that down before I get, uh, let me, before I get, um, what you call that shit? What you call it? What you call it? Copyrighted. You know, we don't want to get copyright around this motherfucker. But yeah. So I got my motherfucking food already, bitch. I forgot to fucking uh, record when I got out. I'm trying to raise my damn steering wheel, bitch. It's all in my face. There we go. There we go. Gee, he gave me a motherfucking pop and I don't even drink pop, but guess what? I'm gonna drink one today. I'm gonna drink one today. So when my face break out next week, y'all, we gonna know why. We gonna all know why, because it was this bitch right here. But I'm finna drink this hoe, cause I don't get no fuck. I already got it now. It ain't no, uh, uh. Bitch, I'm finna, and then I, uh, I ain't getting no big ass dinner from um, JJ's. I just got me a um, two piece with one piece of catfish. It was their uh, lunch special. And their lunch special ended at three, bitch. It's 340. He been made my shit. My shit was sitting up there. I low key forgot, bitch. I done fell asleep. But you know what? It's okay. Like, that shit ain't even cause for, boy. All them big ass fucking ties. Ugly as Lakai. 
Damn, the whole block getting they shit set out. Hmm, what's going on over there? Hmm. Bitch, I go to Vegas Friday, Saturday. I'm too motherfucking happy. I'm too geeked. Too geeked. I got to do my motherfucking hair this week. That could be another video low key, but y'all not gonna be getting that until like a minute because I'm gonna have to edit that. Cause look, I'm gonna have to edit this video before I go to Vegas. Then I'm filming while I'm in Vegas and then I'm gonna have to edit that video. And then I'm not gonna be editing no three video. Mm -mm, no. Y'all gonna have to wait on that. So that could be my video after Vegas. So I already have it pre-recorded. Per. Look at me rocking the head. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um. Like, damn, these bugs really be trying to get the fuck up in my shit, bitch. Get back. Get back, ho. Bitch, I was just fucking struggling coming in this motherfucking house. First of all. But, um, yeah, back in the motherfucking crib. Um, I need to go wash off my, the top of my pop real quick. Because, yeah, I don't trust people. Okay, okay. Back at it like a crack at it. Back at it like a crack at it. Anyways, this is what I got. This is what I got. Oh, yes. Look fine, don't it? Yes, yeah. I know, I know. Okay, anyways. Start off the motherfucking story time, bitch. So, um... I first... Child, I was bad as hell in school. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, don't know how... Really used to try me. And then I feel like if I was with the school in Chicago, if I went to school in Chicago, I would not have got kicked out of school. These bitches were just racist. And that's pretty much it, bitch. They was just fucking racist because, girl, I don't even know. I feel like just half the shit I was doing, I wouldn't have got kicked out of school if I was in Chicago. Like, mm, I just had a bad fucking temper and a bad anger problem. I was just treating bitches. Like, as I do now, as I should. Period. But said teachers too. I gave no fuck. Like, I remember in fifth grade, I got kicked out the fifth grade talent show. And my mom and her boyfriend still came to the show too. Like, bitch, I wouldn't even participate. I had to sit in the back room. But anyways, I ended up getting kicked out of the talent show because we had a substitute teacher, G. And when, I'm telling y'all, the cloud, the crash was going crazy. Like, everybody was bad as hell, not listening. Me included, you know, I don't give a fuck. But, like, they was just going crazy. And she wasn't controlling it, and I'm like... You need to do your motherfucking job. I told her some shit like that. Like, you need to do your motherfucking job or something. And she went up. She ended up telling the other fucking teachers. Bitch. And so, I guess they ended up telling, like, I, my homeroom teacher and shit like that. And, bitch, they kicked me out the fifth grade talent show. I was blue. Because I really wanted to sing. Like, we were learning all those songs. And so, my will bring a better you. A better me. Young lady, what is wrong with you? You just cut out all that wild gyration and blues shouting in the air. I still remember the song, G. That's crazy. But anyways, fast forward to motherfucking seventh grade. I mean, no. Eighth grade, yeah. I went to, um, y'all need to know all that. But yeah. So, eighth grade, yeah. Bitch. What happened? First of all, my seven. I was only at this school for my seventh grade year and my eighth grade year. And between those times, G, I got suspended so many fucking times. 
I was getting suspended. I was getting detentions. Everything, bitch. Like, I was just working my way up to the expulsion. But, anyway, 8th grade year come. You know, same shit. Detentions, all that shit. But the school year had low key just started because I still remember. It was October, G. It was October. It was coming up on, um, it was coming up on Halloween or whatever. And, you know, I'm motherfuckers getting their BB guns and shit. And, eighth grade, yeah, how old was I? I was 13. Um, so I went to go get me a motherfucker BB gun too, shit. I wanted one. I ended up bringing it to school or whatever. Never brought it out in school. This shit stayed in my locker the whole time because it was in my book bag. And when I um when we uh when school was over with, we was riding the school bus and shit, and I ended up shooting one of the girls that was on my own school bus. One of them little bitches snitched. I don't know who it was, I don't know if it was the girl I shot or this other girl that was riding my bus. Cause I heard two different things, but you know, I don't really give a fuck. I wanted to go to alternative anyways, so I ended up getting kicked out for that. And then they told me that um I had to stay at an alternative for they told me I had to stay at an alternative for um two years. So I had to do the rest of my eighth grade year and then I had to do my whole freshman year there. Um I ended up doing them two years there at alternative and the alternative school right down the street from my motherfucking house, like literally walking distance. I remember I broke my motherfucking leg and shit. The dude used to come um, pick me up, Mr. Rudis, said ugly ass. But, um. Ooh, that kind of spikes it. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you smoke in a YouTube video? Because, bitch, I'm finna smoke. In a hot second. Oh, that's gonna be my thumbnail right there. Mm hmm. Please. Anyways, um, well, what, what was I? Okay, so I had to stay at alternative for my freshman and sophomore year. No, my eighth grade and uh, freshman year we want to be, you know. Anyways, I love alternative, bitch. Alternative was so fucking fun. Gee, we only went for three hours. We ain't get no homework. That's probably why I'm dumb as hell. No, I'm just playing. I ain't dumb, but they really didn't teach us shit. Like they, they was not teaching us the right shit at alternative school. Right. Mm hmm. I feel like we was just learning shit that we learned already. Like, shit that was below grades and shit. Like, I don't know. But. Fast forward, freshman year, bitch. So now it's freshman year. And. No. Fast forward, sophomore year, bitch. Oh, man, sophomore year, I can go back to regular soon. Alright. We gonna take a break on the food, cause baby, as long as I keep eating, this story ain't gonna go nowhere. I promise y'all. I promise. Hold on. Let me just take one more bite of the chicken. Mm. Ooh wee! I'm sorry, y'all. That shit just like, girl, clothes. Like, what is you doing? Come on in. I don't need no nets touching you. Anyways, <clears throat> fast forward, sophomore year. I get to go back to regular motherfucking school, bitch. Really didn't want to because I don't really care for regular school. Honestly, like, I really don't. I don't really talk to none of them dusty ass little bitches that go to regular school. 
Only person that went to regular school was my best friend. Like, yeah, my best, like, two two of my fucking friends. And a popular, yeah, two of my fucking friends. And, um, what else? Majority of my motherfucking friends went to alternative anti fucking ways. So, I really didn't give a fuck. Like, it's not like alternative was a bad thing. It was just like, you know, I honestly really didn't care. But, so, um, fast forward sophomore year, bitch. <coughs> They let me go back to regular school and shit. First and foremost, the shit was fucking irritating as hell. I need to start looking at the lens and not at myself. This shit was irritating as hell, bitch, G. Like, I ain't never really went to, like, no real high school. So, it's basically like I was a freshman as a sophomore, you know, because I ain't never really went to no high school. My last high school that I was at was alternative you know that's small as hell it's not like a real high school that's just it's like oh no if you ever been to alternative school then you know how it is up in them uh, up in the bitches it's not like regular school it's different but um so yeah so they give me a motherfucking lock in and shit g first of all this fucking combination and shit was like not even fucking working all the fucking time like the shit used to blows the fuck out of me i barely even went to the fucking locker because it was nothing up in there that i needed to get like i carried my book bag around with me the whole fucking day so it was no reason for me to go to my locker all my books was in my book bag and then oh yeah so the first time so basically when you come oh bitch not food flying out my mouth so basically, when you come from alternative and you go back to regular school, they give you a three strike warning. I think it's per semester or per school year, but nine times out of ten, it's per semester. You get three strike warning per semester, and if you uh, violate your three strike warning, whatever, you gotta go back to alternative, bitch. My three strike warning was uh, ran up in thirty days. It was like ridiculous. So first of all, bitch, we go back to regular motherfucking school. Um. I had just got my new iPhone. I had just got an iPhone 5C. Yes, it was my first iPhone, bitch. And it wasn't even fucking on. Like, that's the thing. Uh, I think I was missing something. I think I needed, like, a... Uh, I was waiting for Boost to send me, like, a Sims card. It was something I was waiting for. But it wasn't It wasn't on because all I could do is, like... All I seen was, like, the little hello. So, it was something that was wrong with it. I don't know. But it, but it was brand new, bitch. Don't do not do that. It wasn't stolen or nothing. I forgot what it was. I was waiting on something. I don't know. I can't remember. But I was waiting on something. But so, mind you, but it eventually got fixed, though, because I don't know. Anyways, so I had just got me a new phone and shit like that. Whoa. And so, bitch, I remember my first violation that I got. I was walking in the hallway, uh, the little pregnant, ugly looking ass bitch, assistant principal, this bitch told me get off my phone. Or some shit like that. Girl, what happened? She told me get off my phone, and I think I treated the fuck out this bitch. I treated her, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I treated her. It's like, girl, if you don't get your goofy pregnant ass the fuck on, girl, stop talking to me. Bye. Yeah. Go find somebody else to talk to, because I ain't the one. Anyway, so um, what happened? But but yeah, bitch, I that was ended up being my first warning. This that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. um, what was my? Oh, okay. Is that somebody? Not, is that somebody ringing my fucking doorbell in the middle of my story time? In the middle of my story time, I'm hard depth in depth in the motherfucking details in the trenches, bitch. I'm all the way dived in, and you want to ring the doorbell? <gasps> Who is it? They can't even hear me. They can't even hear me. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, sorry y'all, bitch. I'm back. Some no, it wasn't even nobody at the fucking door. G, I went to the fucking door and went nobody even fucking there. But, um, it took me a little minute because I had to, uh, message the group chat and shit and see if I could smoke in my videos. But, no, you can't because they not finna demonetize me. I'm not even monetized yet. But when I do get monetized, they not finna go back to my videos and, yeah, we not having that. So, yeah, two second break. I'm finna, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. be right back. Let's see how I look when I get back because bitch I'm gonna be zooted and booted. <laughs>
Is it recording? <laughs> Bitch, I didn't motherfucking start going down my for you. I didn't start going down my for you page and shit. Well, we can clearly see the difference because I see the difference too. Shit. Anyways, what was I at? What was I at? What was I at? What was I was I what was I at? Was I, was I, was I, I think I was on the second incident. Um Okay, so the first incident I ended up treating a pregnant bitch and shit like that. Oh yeah, okay, 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 yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember. <laughs> okay, so I had got caught smoking, but um yeah, I got caught smoking a square. I don't smoke squares no more, but, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I got caught smoking a square, and that was my second violation. I didn't get no fucked up because I was tired of that motherfucking school. Like, they us was stressing me the fuck out. Like, oof, it was too much. So, yeah. That was my second violation. And then... My third one, we was in art class. And this girl that I know since like seventh fucking grade or whatever. We actually used to go out. That's the crazy thing. But she had we was in art class or whatever. I forgot what the fuck we was making, but she had came over to my table and took my fucking glue and shit like she was just bothering me. She was doing too fucking much. Like, girl, get the fuck on. And I ended up smacking her ass. I ain't even smack her though, G. I swear to God, I hit her like I be hitting like my little nieces and nephews, like a little ass pet. And she did the most with her fake ass motherfucking waterworks and shit. And so I ended up getting in trouble again. Oh, and then um, the the another reason why they uh, kicked me out is because her little friend was talking shit. The, and the crazy thing about it, G, you know the crazy thing about it? Her stepdaddy is Mr. Rudisu. Dude, that I said that work at Alternative? Yeah. That little bitch. That little bitch just was bumping her motherfucking gun. She had so much shit to say. Like, girl, shut up. Like, shut up. And she white. Like, girl, shut up. And... I had told her, shut the fuck up before I throw these motherfucking scissors at your throat or some shit. I said some shit like that, like I'll throw these scissors at you or some shit like that. And you know her little snitching ass toe. So I got in trouble for that too. So, girl, you you know after that, babe. You need to leave. You gotta go. They sent my ass right back to motherfucking alternative. And so, yeah. I was at alternative. I was at alternative for the rest of my sophomore year. So, I had to do the rest of my sophomore year in my junior year. I did that. And I could have went back my senior year. But, what's the point of me going back... To regular school my senior year when I could just graduate a semester early at Alternative. So, I stayed my ass at Alternative when I graduated a semester early. While everybody else was still in school, I already had my motherfucking diploma. Mm -hmm. I had my motherfucking diploma already. I didn't even have to walk across the motherfucking stage. I walked across the stage just to, you know, have that little graduation experience type shit or whatever. Because I already had my shit. I was done with high school. Me and my best friend, shit. So. And yeah, that's it. Like, that's it. That's the rest of the motherfucking stories I have. But I mean, honestly, I really don't care. But Alternative was fun as hell. I, mean, I can't even care. Alternative was fun as fuck. I miss high school low key. I really do. And the thing is about our high schools out here, because, you know, um, in Chicago, a lot of their high schools got to wear um, uniforms and shit like that. We ain't got to wear uniforms. I ain't wear, well, at the regular high school, we ain't had to wear uniforms. At the alternative, we had to wear uniforms. But, I mean, it wasn't like a uniform. It was just a white shirt, and you could wear regular pants or some shit like that. But, 
Girl, J, we came in that motherfucker high as hell. Every day, I swear to God, I remember, um, what was it? Was that my senior year? Was that my senior year? No, I remember my uh, junior year, G. Uh, me and my two friends, we used to uh, come at least like 30 minutes late every fucking day. And it was becoming a habit. We was high as hell every day. They ended up telling us, y'all come late. Uh, any one of y'all let come late one more time. We gonna end up dropping y'all let uh, what was it? Dropping you from the school. Basically kicking us out to school or whatever. And we was gonna have to like go to like youth build type shit and get our GED. I'm like, ah. Oh. Hell no, nah. uh uh, not me. She, yeah, girl, I got my shit together. Uh uh, I was still high as fuck coming to school, but I went late. Mm, shit, I was not dropping my ass. Fuck that. Um, I just thank y'all for supporting me because, y'all, before I honestly, honestly, before I started doing TikTok, I was like depressed as hell. I can't even cap, like, for real. Then I started doing TikTok. Y'all hear them birds, cause they loud as hell. Like they they really be talking shit. But now that I've been doing TikTok all night, like mm, I don't know. Anyways. Is this the end of another video? Is this the end of another video? I mean I guess I got enough footage. So, yeah, this is the end of the video. This is the end of my story time. Y'all gonna get a better video next vi my, my next video is gonna be a lot better. I'm a vlog while I'm in Vegas, you know, type shit. Purr. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, please. Don't be watching and not liking. That's that hating shit. Like, please. And leave a comment. You ain't even gotta like. You ain't even gotta really say nothing. Just leave a laughing emoji or some shit. Like I don't know, just to boost it. And then what else? Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Per. And yeah, that's it. Thank y'all for watching. Talk to y'all later.